This is Mark Summers again from Summers Technical Services. I'm going to do a quick video on creating sheet metal parts in SolidWorks. So I'll flip screens here and take a look. I've got a sketch already finished here of a sheet metal part we're doing in our class. And uh, so that's completed. And so I'll get out of sketch mode. Pre-select the sketch and you're going to want to go to sheet metal tab here in SolidWorks. And if you don't see the tab on your installation of SolidWorks, just right click on the tabs and you can turn it on and off with the buttons there. So once I got sheet metal tab going there, I pre-selected a sketch. First feature is always a base flange tab and you give it basic information about the material thickness, K factor, and your bend relief and you say OK. So once you make that first base flange, it also creates a sheet metal tab at the top that contains all the information about your sheet metal part. And there's some defaults that SOLIDWORKS use that we may want to change. So if I right click on that feature and say edit feature, we can look in here and see that I need to change or can change my default bend radius and part thickness. So you want to set that here and also check your K factor. So we'll use those. Uh, default parameters from the last time I made a part. Say OK. Now we're ready to do the second feature and we're only going to talk about one feature after the first base flange tab which is edge flange. <clears throat> so we're going to uh, call it pull flanges and uh, has lots of other options that we're not going to go over today but this is very uh, lots of varied functionality that's available in SolidWorks. So I'm just going to do a plain edge flange and I'll grab the far edge here where the sharp corner would be and I just click it and pull it click a and pull a flange. So it's got the automatically makes the right pin radius that I specified earlier and I'm going to tell it that I want this to be 3.75 long flange and there's lots of options for how you define the corners. I'll leave the defaults you can change the angle and say OK. And I can continue that pull a couple more flanges edge flange grab the bottom edge click and click make that 1.8 okay and we'll pull one more over here to complete all the flanges on this particular part we'll pull that edge out this way and make that three quarters of an inch <clears throat> so now we've got our three flanges and we've got our part and so you can go ahead and add the holes chamfers other features like that using the regular SolidWorks feature commands that you're all used to. Another thing we'll point out is in addition to creating a sheet metal feature at the beginning when I made my base flange, it also creates this flat pattern feature. And by default it makes it suppress, but if I unsuppress that pattern, right click unsuppress, it shows a flat pattern of that sheet metal part. And this is nice because it calculates these correct part lengths based on the K factor that I gave it in the beginning. So this will be very useful for your fabricators to create flat patterns, then bend the part, and then uh, get the results you want. So I want to right click and suppress that again. So anyway, we only went through a couple of different features, and uh, but that gets you started on making your sheet metal parts in SolidWorks, and you can experiment with these other sheet metal features, and I'll do a additional videos in the future to dis discuss those. So that'll do it for now for the video training on Summers Technical Services. Make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel as there's more videos posted on a regular basis. Until next time, have a good day and I hope you enjoyed the video.